9.25 on May the 4th be with you Happy Star Wars Day So we'll let that go off and then after lunch we'll uh, get cracking with some block work maybe You don't want to be stood under this in a thunderstorm when there's thunder and lightning So we got in the van Morning. It's 9.25 on May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. So um, yeah we've been picked, picked up here, picked up some blocks, we picked up cement because we're mixing our own concrete. We're just going to use the MOT which is over there with the insulation. Alex uh, stoned us up when we were here last Tuesday. Two days ago yeah. Yeah so we've whacked it because we brought the whacker with us. Shout out to Jimmy, my mate. That's his whacker, but it lives in my garage, so because I look after it, it's not left kept outside. It lets me use it as and when. So it's been whackered, we've sand blinded it, so it's ready for our first fish screen now, which is over there, ready to be cut. Then it'll be the insulation, and then we'll have to find that. There's a couple of yeah, you know, a couple of pieces like that. We're going to use them, cut them down for the cold bridging strip, put them round, and then the fish screen on top, and then concrete. I'm going to mix the concrete in, just tip it straight in. It's not going to take many mixes that. And then um, this afternoon we're going to get the profiles up and get some block work up. So probably while I'm um, fettling with the slab Alex to start getting the starter packs up. I hope you can hear this because I haven't got the mics on at the moment. A lot of um, noisy fast cars to, to drive like nuts down there. So um, yeah, that's the plan. So back on time, that's how we get this fish green.
That was excruciating for me, <laughs> back and forth and all that, but it's in. And uh, so it took three and a quarter bags of cement to get all that in. So not too bad. So we'll let that go off and then after lunch we'll uh, get cracking with some black work maybe. Right, excuse the uh, the wind again, but um, I haven't got the mic on because we're trying to get a push on and get as much as we can done today. It's um, Clive still on, so it's not quite two o'clock, is it? No, it's past not, two. sorry, not quite three o'clock. Twenty-five to three. So, um, quick update: I've done loads of cuts because there's loads of cuts in it. So they're all pretty much all done. We've got two cores of common just to keep this um, detail going around the whole building. Then um, it'll be. Um, Another course coming on top to get back into courses, or we'll have to cut one some more blocks down to the three inch, 65 mil. So profiles are up, flitch profiles. Always glad to get them up. Alex is putting his pin into the wall starters. I haven't got any wall starters because the um, render is still in my way, so I'm going to use bluebirds at my end every six. Can't and quite demolish that render yet because obviously we've just done a slab. Mess our slab up. Yeah, proper slab now. It's all that's all to regs that. The only thing is, the um, they want they want to go for space over warmth, so it's going to be a single skin with insulated plasterboards. I'm pretty sure that uh, a porch, as long as it's under three meters square, doesn't come under regs or build or planning permission. I've been looking into this because uh, we want to build a porch on our house. So that is 2.4 by 1 250, which uh, which works out exactly three square meters, I think. So um. Yes, we're um, all set up. Alex has started already. I'm going to get uh, down on my end. He's got a line on his end, but I, I've, I've just said that, haven't I, already? He's a trooper. Yeah. Let me take the line. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Got half a mix in, see how far that takes us. And then we'll be back tomorrow to get it finished, get the lintel on, get the pipe on it. Pretty much the same as the old shape. There you go. So there you go. Yeah. We're all set, let's crack on.
excuse the wind, but there we go. That is day one of the block laying done. Not done too bad, got the three quarter brick up and a quarter block. Almost two on dad's side. So, catch you tomorrow, or we'll just continue. Good Friday morning. Don't be deceived by that, because the weather forecast is crap. Oh, is it Easter? <laughs> I can't show you the time because I'm currently filming on the phone because we forgot the camera. So, mix is in, profiles are up, most of the cuts are done. I've just decided I'm going to change these cuts. I'm going to get rid of these little things here. I'm going to cut two big halves here. It's just better job. And then um, Alex can probably jump on the big breaker and get some of this vendor truck off. So, um, I'll get the cuts done at our cutting station and Alex can jump on Have a nickname on the beast on that which is currently having its battery charged on our new battery charger six batteries one plug brilliant and then there's the um that pack out radio it's all made up with that, that slash was, that slash charger Oh yeah, that was Alex's idea. That was my initial question. That arrived yesterday. We've also had a couple of other little bits like a square. That's good. And um, what was the other thing that arrived out? Oh, the little blower. So yeah, um, this is going to be done today. So, by hook or by crook, it's getting built today. So I'm going to jump on the saw, like I said, and Alex's going to get this, little, have a go at this, see what we can, how much of this we can get off. So, um, I can't set you up for a time lapse because it's on the phone, so I'll catch you in a bit. The foot, the um, the camera's on its way. Alex, Chris, Alex's mum, and um, Sarah were currently on the way shopping, but they've turned around to come back and bring the camera for us, which is very kind of them. So I'll get up, get them to give us a wave when they came here, when they come. See you in a bit. back on the camera because we had the camera I just couldn't find it in the bag so there you go 5th of May 2012 and uh, we forgot to record since break time whoops so this is what we're up to now I think there's one course on top of that so lintels in it now yep so we're nearly there <coughs> I've swapped the pieces around instead of these little shitty pieces I, I wasn't happy with them so I swapped it to two big halves a lot better job and then they're the off cuts so we've used one of the little just to ev use everything up Yeah, we just use the small piece and the, the offcuts there to ten. So just just to use pieces up instead of just cutting more blocks. We, we don't do, like waste. We might not have enough blocks. We like well, we will. But we're not sure. Yeah. 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 Really tiny little pike. It's a lot of cuts in a, in a pike, though, isn't there? Mm. There you go. We had to go up the um, render before. We got some of it off, so we've got the block work back to brickwork, and we're using bluebirds on that side, putting them in as we go. And your side up, yeah. Almost. Oh no, you've got your. Uh, you've done the front, I've done the side. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put you back on for a bit, try and get the last bit, and then um, 
we're on hop ups at the moment and once the sides are up we're not going to bed the wall plate on because we don't know what height that's going on at the moment whether it's going to be 4x3, 4x2 so we'll just leave it at that and then we'll form the pikes um, I think we'll allow for the wall plate to come all the way through Yeah. and then they can fix to the end of the wall plate then yeah um, yeah then that's what we're following that's what we're following the original roof so let's, get, let's put the camera a bit further back and see what's going on and um, let's get this last bit on we've just had a rain shower come over a very short sharp one so hopefully it'll give us give us an hour just to get done and then um, we'll see what the customer wants us to do she wants us to carry on with the render or go home so we'll see happy Friday when's it Easter? that's a good Friday <laughs> it's Revenge of the Fifth <laughs> oh yeah, Revenge of the Fifth Right, better off my phone. I'm not laughing. No. Alex just said it's a bloody joke. Well, yeah, it is. We weren't going to come in today, but we're here. Uh, yeah, it went black all of a sudden. I've got a couple of pictures of it, and then it bombed it down. Thunderstorm for a little bit. Ten minutes, and that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's enough to just... You don't want to be stood under this in a thunderstorm when there's thunder and lightning. So we got in the van. so little to do there's just this pipe to get on there's nothing in it so we just need to get up there get a line set up get it on quick get it covered up and go it's just frustrating when it's like this sunshiny showers and heavy showers you can see the big clouds rolling in it's an angry sky that it's black behind us but it's just been hit hard anyway so let's get set up and get this done and get out of here
never go too far back and fall off the scaffold. There you go. One pike up, one porch finished. Two nice strong cuts around the lintel. Two bricklayers dead inside. Yeah. I think, oh, it's only porch, that won't take long, but the, the work that goes into these is deceiving. Messing around putting trestles up and setting the lines up, getting the pipe right, doing the cuts. It all takes time and it all adds up. Whereas you stand back and look at it and think, there's only a small porch, not many blocking that. But there's, there's a lot of work in it still. Whew. But it's done. And we managed to beat the weather. The scenery's looking really nice now, it's spring and all the green's coming out. So yeah. Ready to get the profiles down, get inside, get the, get all the backs flushed up because it is only single skin. Um, it is only single skin, but um, we're just doing what we're told. That's how we've been asked to build it. Really, it should have a 250mm cavity, but you wouldn't even fit a 150 cavity in there. I personally think that door should be moved to the centre. Going to all the trouble of getting the porch on, I've put the door in the centre of the porch. There's no reason why that can't be moved. And yeah. I've done it. I've done it. And it's what? About half two. Ten to three. Ten to three. Well, not bad. We'd have, been, we'd have finished an hour ago if it wasn't for um, considering a thunderstorm. Was thunderstorm, yeah. Don't think we've done too bad all things considered. So drop a scaff, put it over there and get it get tidied up. So we'll catch you in a bit for the outro. So Almost an hour's cleaning later. And there we have it. One finished porch. It's all propped up ready for the, uh, the weather conditions. That was tough. I could say a lot of stuff, but I'll say tough. So, there you have it. Just doing our last little things, then we'll be going home. So, that'll be the end of this video. If you enjoyed be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell for notifications because that is a massive support for the channel and obviously we greatly appreciate that that man keeps going on about uh, subscriber goal let's uh, ask him what's your uh, what's your goal it's an ambitious one it's 50,000 this year well that's a tall order <laughs> But uh, obviously any support for the channel, all the likes, the subscribes and the comments, all interaction, always greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. So this has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex with a bloody nightmare porch. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.